hello and welcome back to hopefully a lot more happier crew. And I still wanna... I don't know. Explore around. But also definitely uh, have a, an eye out for pirates. <laughs> I don't think he has. I definitely don't want to save scum. But I do consider safe scumming like getting out a... Uh, getting a more ideal outcome. So, that's again a pirate. Do we want to deal with a pirate? I don't know if I want to. So, we have uh, a better hole and, and sail health, a bigger crew, enter combat, advance. What is that? Sure. The opposing ship lets out its sails and moves with full force of the wind at its back. Choose a course of action. Hmm. That's interesting. So I have... Could cannon. Uh, wait a second. How'd I close this? Port and starboard. Prepare to jibe. Report to what? Half sail. Full speed ahead. Hold position. Turn starboard. Turn port. Okay, is that how? Turn to port, right? So that's where their ship uh, is. Okay. The enemy crew scurry uh, to their stations in preparation for maneuvers. You hear the shouts of the enemy ship's boat swaying over the sound of the water. Ordering the crew to their stations. Sailors climb the rigging like spiders and let loose the sails. Choose a course of action. Fire! Sur <laughs> Surrender! What the fuck? Fire the starboard cannons. Uh, yeah. Do I have to choose which one? Yeah, those are the ones that get fired. Chain shot. Grape shot. Grape shot targets an enemy ship above deck crew and has low chance of dealing sail damage. Chain shot targets enemy ship sails and has low chance of dealing above deck da uh, crew damage. Cannonball. Okay, good question. What do we want to do? Cannoneer. That looks like there's only s four suckers on board, so this is easy. Do I just uh, wreck their sails? Fire. As the ship crests over the peak of, of a wave, your cannoneers fire a deafening volley at the opposing ship. What is he fires? Double bronzer. Miss. Double miss. Okay. So they are heading right for us. We can't fire the starboard cannons. What if I turn to port now? Brace for impact. I think he might be able to... Let's turn to port. The Defiant beats to windward, attacking between port and starboard with all appropriate speed. Your ship is faster and your crew better prepared. You secure the wind gauge uh, before the Scuttler's crew has the opportunity to come about and claim it for themselves. 
Okay. Second round. Report to what? Prepare to jibe? How do I know about the wind? Half sail. Full speed ahead. Oh, nice. I managed to gain advantage. Okay. I gained an advantage. Um, I don't think I'm gonna read everything. I'm gonna turn to starboard. Distance closed in. Let's fire the starboard cannons. Chain shot. What is that? Cannonball. Oh, it takes long time to reload it or what? Reload time 8 turns. Uh, that's pretty extreme. Let's do cannonballs. We fired. And we missed. Brace for impact. So they are just closing in for the most part. I can turn to port. Turn to port again. And I wanna prepare, uh, fire the port cannons. Both of them, oh boy. The hit chance is so low. It doesn't improve. Miss, miss. Okay. Should I turn toward them? Turn to port? I'm going toward them. Full speed ahead. Choose a course of action. I don't know if I enjoyed this uh, <laughs> that much. Oh boy, we took damage. Let's turn to starboard. Fire the cannons. High chance to hit. Do it. Come on. It's gotta hit. Choose a course of action. Uh, turn to port. We're getting shot. Turn to port again. And fire the starboard cannons. Great. Let's do it. High damage. Ideal range. 250, 350. Actually, we are in the ideal range of those cannons. A lot more damage. This is a uh, 5.5 average. Uh, this is uh, 13.5. Double bronzer is good. Just. Come on, double bronzer hit. The hole destroyed, right? Seawater pours into the holes and. pours into the holes in the scuttler's hole. In moments, the ship is half submerged. An explosion in the hold rends the ship apart. A cloud of thick black smoke balloons into the sky, and the wind carries its scent to you. Gunpowder. Before you can blink, the bulk of the ship disappears be 
below the waves. All that remains are the main mast and its tattered sails, upright in final salute before they too are taken by the sea. But did we get- oh no, never mind that, we got some loot. I was like, yeah, we didn't get loot. So, we got some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, but take call and continue. Actually, we might need to repair the hole. Or is it going to get repaired automatically? Oh yeah, it's getting repaired. Perfect. Oh, we can't go, go through that. Hmm. A port? Come on, pick it up. Solution ta times two. Dead fire merchant. If I start raiding merchants, will they know? Is that it? Salted rice farm. I can buy rice. Cheaper than usual. But that's not really saying a lot. Sure. Great. I have a place where I can score rice cheaper, but... It's not really cheaper because... It takes a long time to get here. What? I clicked there and I couldn't go. Tahika fishing pools? <clears throat> you stand on the forecastle, gazing out at clear skies and gentle seas. The chattering of your crew darkens, adopting an ominous stone. Gathered at the starboard railing, they peer out at the sea. By the gods, Irana mutters, the surface of the sea swells. An enormous, glowing shape is surfacing. Brought it to fire the cans, no. What is it? Identify it. Choose a party member? I don't know. Might you do it? There is only one breed of glowing sea life of this size to your knowledge. Uh, the resplendent phantom. Their sweet flesh makes them a popular quarry among whale hunters. What is that? Oh, cipher. A long pale creature breaks the surface of the water. Its skin is translucent and freckled with uh, phosphorescence. Phosphorus sense, and you can make out the ghostly outlines of luminous organs beneath it. The creature rolls slowly, staring back at you with a glowing blue eye. The nerve behind it is uh, as thick as a halyard. Or the mad smiles. This one is young still. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, Ora! No one asks you! Thoughts, crew? Irana leans over the railing. Plenty of meat on the beast. A prize like that could feed us for days. With the captain's permission, Irina smiles hopefully. Others murmur eager assent. Beldo grins fiercely. A quarry worthy of the lord of the hunt. Let's have some excitement, captain. We let the creature pass in peace. You bastard. Yet the magnificent uh, magnificent creature continues alongside your ship for many hours. A low, mournful music rises above the light percussion of the waves, and a gentle peace envelops your crew. When night falls, the beast is beside you still, a comforting uh, light in the darkness. By morning it is gone, but the sense of calm it brought remains. Great! So... We became more experienced, but the morale went down because we didn't kill the whale. We don't need to kill the whale! What? They're gonna mutiny on me! <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't do that. The 
map is big. Oh, I, I can't go past. I, I can't go lower than that. The morale is going uh, lower and lower. And killing the whale would have not helped. To fix it. Imposter's Lament. Oh, I can't go there or what? Mirror Whisper is the one we need to uh, visit first. A light fog curls about your ankles, breathless, whispering voices call to you from the darkness. They cry in half-uttered sentences, in moans, gurgles, scream, screams. What few words you can make out among the chorus back for mercy, for an end to their pain. Step into the fog. <clears throat> Wisps wind around your torso and cling to your skin. The cries become shouts. And the chorus screams. The fog thickens until you see nothing but its swirling ghostly shape. Dark forms appear in the fog. They encircle you one moment and disappear the next. Ask Soti to draw the spirits into her lantern? Sure. I think it's time for you. A lost lot to find the light. This way now, that's right. A lot hums approvingly. He does that a lot. The dense fog swirls into Xoti's lantern. You hear the faint tink of metal striking the ground. You bend down to examine it and discover a small, ne a small necklace. The stone at its center sparkles with the red of a uh, fire's dancing flame. Unhindered by the fog, you are now free to continue exploring the island. Accuracy against spirits? Okay. A junk bobs just offshore. Its hull is scored with deep gashes above uh, the waterline, and parts of the stern are burned to cinders. There may be still be something worth salvaging in the hold. Okay. Flint and tinder. Nothing. Nothing. And that's it. Temple of Tug Cola Ruins. Sure. Wait, can I check this place out? Some water, probably some food there. Fresh fruits. So, what's going on in the ruins? <clears throat> Ahead of you lie the ruins of an ancient complex. As you near the tumbled down stone entrance, you notice several curious uh, drawings scrawled across the stone in a flaking brown paint. You bend down to get a better look and discover that the drawings uh, depict violent images of decapitations, dismemberings, hangings and sundry other terrors. Sure, why not go in? Light from distant torches flickers on the ruined walls. Unintelligible words uh, float to you on a breeze that reeks of carrion and the metallic tang of blood. Hey, sounds like a nice vacation spot. I'll take you guys to the best places. Uh, definitely not uh, mutiny uh, in the air. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Are they gonna take away my ship? Just because I pay them nothing and put them in constant danger? And they have to... Uh, drink water and eat nothing. No problem. My eyes are peeled. Sounds unfair to me. Repair supplies. The 
Fat bubbles stick on the surface of this part. The rising steam smells of sweaty, sweetly of meat. Okay. So somebody's definitely over here. Concentration. We got into a fight. Praise Marauder. Sure. I'm picking up skills that are good. Not only against... Uh, well, better to use... Uh, work better with the AI, I suppose that's the most correct way to put it. Uh, would be nice. Also, I kind of forgot to hotkey relevant abilities. So they are confused. Wow, you are very eager to rush in. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, maybe that's not the best idea. So... Blinding them would be nice. What are you doing? Oh, she doesn't have an AI. I don't know, you should not use the lava room in our missiles that much. I don't like it. Let's do a chilling fight. It's, it's really good in a long fight. What? Ogre pirate? Let's do a second win. I can still do a uh, not mirror damage. Uh, I changed my mind. Bewildering spectacle. Watch it with that. If you can do a heal, uh, you need to do a heal. Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah, that guy needs to die, or charmed, or whatnot. He needs to go away. I need some help here. Okay, we charmed. And uh Ed there is not in the best spot. Mule kick? Isn't that just a better version of the kick? Yeah, that costs one. It's the same thing, just just better. Okay, and uh, she's back, so maybe we're gonna do a heal. No, don't do the heal. He's dead. Come on, do the heal. So... I think he's taking some damage from the frost. That's part of the problem. Okay. Crazy Pistolier is on our back. Yeah, do I really want a fireball there? What? Crazy Warlock? Where did you come from? I just paralyzed him. It didn't work out so well. Yeah, nice heal, but we did take wounds on that there. 20 fortitude. Fine wand. 
Uh, sure. You might want that, but everybody... Anything else? Fine rod. Already got that. So, Elot can use the fine wand. Potty stash. Sure. Yeah, sword by value, most definitely. So she wants to talk. With every soul, my lantern's getting heavier and heavier in my hand. What are your thoughts on Iotas? We talking during the Saints' War or after he died? We already talked with that. Okay, okay. Let's speak I of something else. Of tell me what's on your mind. How are you feeling? Have you suffered any recent nightmares? They're there in my head when I sleep, and sometimes I can taste them on the back of my tongue like a smear of grit. Happens when I take in a particularly volatile soul. What are you going to do? Go matter, and I already am. I don't rightly know. It's not like I can turn my back on my duty to my god, even if it kills me. You need me, I'll be two whoops and a holler away. Well, you wanted to talk. Got it. Leave it to me. Okay. Quarter staff. Sure. So is it it is possible that he doesn't need to rest, only does that, right? Or, I guess we are resting, and he's eating a fruit. Yeah. No, them ah, oh, gaping wound. Captain. Let's rest again. I really hope that the the crew didn't bail with my ship. Gear do red handed. Keep your weapon. Can barely see you. Sure. Hi. Of course. You find the middle aged dwarf tied to a post, a pile of bloody refuse scattered at his feet. His beard is a matted mess, and his face is streaked with dirt. Despite his haggard state, he twists against his bonds uh, when you approach him. Lear Sean Nickers, you're just in time. Another moment more and I would have been dinner. What happened here? It's a right sorry tale, I'm afraid to say. Our ship, a beautiful ship she was too, ran aground in a storm. Waves so high we couldn't see a damn thing, you understand? Come to discover this here island's about as barren as an ancient lecher's bed. Not a scrap of nothing edible on it. And none of us were especially keen to take our turn about a wheel, so... He trails off, unable to meet your eye. As the months wore on and no one came looking for us, we started running low on crew and, uh, victuals. I think while few of us were left here at the end, might have gone a little nutty. Who are you? Jordan. Red-handed of the Impostor's Lament. Well, formerly of the Impostor's Lament. He laughs a little too loudly. Something of a lifelong deckhand I am. Picked up cooking in the last few months, too. Meets my speciality. On a Canada. Well, you know, the business here. With the cannibalism. Sounds great. Uh, who wouldn't want to untie him? <sighs> my wrists thank you mightily. He takes a moment to flex and bend his hands, working the circulation back into them. His lips uh, twist into a grimace when he runs his fingers over the deep bruises uh, the ropes left. Say... You got a ship? Couldn't get here without one, right? You by chance have any spots open for an old dwarf like me? I might not look it, but I'm a deft hand with a rigging. Can even cook some. Welcome to the crew! I owe you one, Captain. A death like this. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to repay you. Yeah, just don't mute me and work for free. You like stew? I got a great recipe. Flavor's real different, like nothing you ever tasted. I'll make it for you. 
you know, in thanks. He gives uh, you a quick wink and a nod before heading back to the ship. Okay, welcome to the crew. Uh, dwarf. Wait. Where is he? He has sailor, exper sailor experience. He's best as a deckhand. What is this? Cannoneer. Novi's deck hand, season deck hand. Is that a deck hand slot? Oh yeah, that's a deck hand slot. Yeah, he's very experienced at being a deck hand. What is this? Helmsman. Okay. I'm not sure what it really means uh, that we have more experienced deck hands. <sighs> Malicious dwarf. Great. I hope his cannibalism is more like a hobby than a way of life. That would be nice. But you know what? If you have some mutineers, what? I can name the island? Uh, wow, I don't know what to name the island. So much pressure. I didn't even name my character, I kind of regret it. <sighs> I'm gonna name it Secret Treasure. So, yeah, it's the Secret Treasure Island with, uh, with the ruins and whatnot. That has nothing on it. And uh, everybody... Well, it's it's more of a, like a slow burner here. Because the island is called the secret treasure. And people are just gonna be like, there's no treasure there. But at the back of my mind, there's gonna be like, hey, there's gotta be a treasure there. Like, why would it be called secret treasure if there's no treasure there? And bam. All those people are gonna check out my piece of crap island with no redeeming qualities whatsoever. And they're just gonna waste their life and their time and whatnot just to find some treasure. And guess what? There's nothing on it. And I'm never going back. More rice I can buy. I guess. So, what about the crew morale? 1 out of 100. Doesn't seem that high. What seemed to be the problem here? Injured crew? Nobody's injured? Or am I supposed to go and give them a shore leave? The steel preacher? Maybe that's what they need. They need shore leave. They can't spend that uh, 10 copper they earned while working for me. Oh no, what will they do? What? Seriously? We're in a fight already? That's crazy. Wait, what? What is this formation? That's That's the dumbest formation of all time. No, that's not what I wanted. I just wanted to run back. I don't really mind the small map, but like when the map is just so small, the the area is just so small that I can't even afford to like take one step back. It's it's small. Looks like trouble. Yeah. Chill boss could be good. What? What was that? That sounds pretty uh, dangerous to me. Uh, 
I hope that was intended. Oh, she's so dead. She needs to withdraw. She's dead. Could you... Could you fuck off? What? How did that come to happen? I need to do a uh, escape. It has a range limit. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess. Charm. Charm might work. Try it. Okay, this is a terrible fight. I need to set up the AI in such a way. Either I need to uh, control them more, or set up the AI in such a way that it's gonna be less stupid. Happy to oblige. Priest cautious. What? You called that cautious? Did I save? No, no, I, I didn't save actually. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Rogue aggressive and wizard aggressive. Like, let's just go both cautious. Uh, wait, does it explain what it does? What? Auto attack aggressive. I guess I can fine tune it if I want to. I don't really want to right now. Yeah. But I just be cautious. Actually, the formation is is bad right now. Uh, let's make the save after changing the formation. And hold your ground, guys. Food special, potion healing. Ready to brawl. Okay. I like this more. Let's do wizard double. No, 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 no. Why are you so insane compared to everybody else? Uh, let's do cautious. Immobilized. Yeah, we probably should do a uh, set up a heal over time. Great. Uh, that's probably should be retargeted. Like over there. I don't hate it, but it needs to be uh, retargeted a little bit. Bewildering Spectacle seems like a good one. Uh, let's just do a heal on yourself, real quickly. Uh, charm chance is pretty damn low. Okay, a lot. Maybe it's gonna work. I'm a little bit stacking the effects right now. It should be good. So they're going prone. So slippery ice. Well, wow. Yeah, exactly. Slippery ice. I made it extra slippery with the oil. That's... Wow. That's gotta be next level evil. Imagine oil plus ice. That's perfect. Oh crap, she dead. Let's go. Really low on what? I'm doing damage. Okay. Trying to control these guys is a little bit hard. 
Yeah, the chance is really low. Elot is dead. Really. I can also turn on this special attack. Oh boy. Steel Preacher? Why do you have the feeling that these guys are a little stronger than usual? Uh, let's go with Cautious. I think I already set everyone else to Cautious. Yeah, we have that save. Uh, we can also have some yeah. bonuses. What can I do, you yeah, it's not too bad. But it seems like it, this fight might be uh, too much for us. Actually, sure. this guy... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe last try. Maybe last try, but that that's it. Oh boy. We need to do a heal right now. And do a... Uh, set up a heal aura. Those skills have pathetically low chance to hit. What about this fog? Can I just stack it? What? She just got blown up instantly. We had some good times. What? You got hit by what kind of chance to hit I got right now? Like 18%? Wait, is that minus? Now the hit chance is not complete garbage against the range ones. Against the melee ones? Is that really... Oh no, it's, it's 18%. I can't, except that guy. We can't even hit that guy. It's 0%. 0% to hit the Steel Preacher. Okay, let's just not waste time here. Holy... Holy moly. So, we should not come here. I don't know what's going on here, but we definitely... Uh, possibly... Should stay... On the... Right side of the map? At least for now. Can I make... Notes on the map? No. It's no matter. Wait! I'm getting chased by a pirate now. So, should we go to Port Maya? And, uh... I don't know. Maybe give them a, a time off? I don't know what would make them happy. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time!